Set in rural America in the 1960s and 1970s, All the Ugly and Wonderful Things, 2016, American author Bryn Greenwood's novel follows Wavana Wavy Quinn, born in the back seat of a car to a small-town drug dealer, who meets Kellen, an ex-convict. Despite a large age disparity, the two begin a morally questionable romantic relationship and strive to build a functional life together. The novel's point of view shifts episodically between Quinn, Kellen, and several minor characters, capturing different aspects of the protagonist's struggles via the inner commentaries of those around them. The novel begins with the story of Quinn's birth and early life. Her mother, Val, not taking care to ensure that her birth goes smoothly, ends up delivering Quinn in a car that breaks down. Throughout her childhood, Quinn suffers due to Val's negligence, she is physically and mentally abused and mistreated by the man Val marries, a meth dealer named Liam. Quinn's main narrative takes place between the ages of 5 and 22. First, Quinn's cousin Amy takes over the narration, recalling the time she lived with Quinn. Quinn is initially placed in the state's foster system after the arrest of both of her parents for drug-related crimes. When Quinn goes to live with Amy, Amy observes that Quinn is terrified to eat in a group setting and hardly ever speaks. After spending several weeks with Quinn, Amy realizes that Val has conditioned Quinn to be terrified of germs. She has also convinced Quinn that germs are everywhere, putting her in a debilitating catch-22 situation that gives her a pathological aversion to human contact. Next, the point of view shifts to Quinn as she returns to live with Val and Liam in a small farmhouse near the town of Powell. In the remote rural area, Quinn becomes an avid stargazer. One night, as Quinn sneaks out, she hears a motorcycle speeding down a nearby road. She runs over to watch it and inadvertently scares the driver, causing him to crash. The man is Jesse Joe Barfoot Jr., who goes by Kellen for short. Quinn calls Liam for help, and Liam's reaction implies that Kellen is one of his meth pushers. Kellen and Quinn quickly become closer than anyone expected. Though he is 23 and Quinn is only 8, they begin a romantic relationship that even Quinn's negligent parents question. Though Kellen is barely educated, he intuitively understands that it is wrong to have a relationship with a child and tries to abstain from physical contact. His own plotline reveals that he grew up on an Indian reservation and suffered severe abuse at the hands of his father. Quinn, on the other hand, naively perceives their relationship as natural, healthy, and judgment-free. When Quinn turns 13, she and Kellen get engaged. On her 14th birthday, a cascade of serious events take place, she loses her virginity to Kellen in his automobile shop, discovered by her extended family, and her parents both die in a drug-related revenge murder. Kellen is sentenced to 10 years in prison for having intercourse with a minor, and Quinn moves in with her aunt Brenda. After she is ripped away from her half-brother, Dunnell, she suffers an extended depressive episode and becomes desperately lonely. Quinn focuses on her studies, making it to college, where she studies astrophysics, continuing her childhood passion for stargazing. When Kellen is finally released from prison, she learns that Brenda has secretly attended his parole hearings and tried to keep him in jail. As a result, Kellen assumes that Quinn now identifies him as her childhood rapist. Quinn locates Kellen, but after they have sex, Kellen tells her that he could violate his parole by seeing her again. She goes back to school and tries to fight the courts to change Kellen's parole conditions. At the end of the novel, Quinn finally secures a legal reunion with Kellen. They marry and move in with Dunnell. Brenda finally comes to support their relationship and apologizes for her attempts to separate them. All the ugly and wonderful things offers a sympathetic portrayal of what is legally defined as statutory rape in modern America. Though its message is extremely contentious, it adds to contemporary discourse on different forms of romance that are considered immoral or taboo. I hope you enjoy this video leave a like, if you didn't be sure to subscribe for more lore thank you all so much for your support.